Welcome to the Delta to Math tutorial. This is going to be covering the greatest common factor, variables only. Here it asks us to factor out this expression completely. So we have xy squared minus x cubed y to the fifth power. We have to find the greatest common factor. So xy squared can be broken down into x times y times y x cubed y to the fifth can be broken down into x times x times x right that's x cubed times y times y times y times y times y these five y's make y to the fifth power let's circle what they have in common well they have one pair of x's then they have one pair of y's and other pair of y's here so the greatest common factor here is x y squared so we write x, y squared as the greatest common factor. We put a parentheses. Let's see what's left. What's left on top? Well, there's technically a number one here, right? So there's a one here. What is left over here? x, x, y, y, y. So we would say an x squared, y cubed is also left, is left, right? Do you see the minus? Make sure you write a minus here as well. So minus x squared y cubed, right? So whatever you didn't circle is what is left over, okay? So it's x y to the second power, parentheses one minus x to the second power, y to the third power, all right? Submit that. Let's see if we are correct. Yep, we did it well. Let's just check. Yep, that is the greatest common factor was a x y squared, and that's how it looks like. Good job. All right, let's do the new problem. Oh, and e. <laughs> this looks like a very easy one. So we have x minus x to the fourth, y to the fifth. All right, let's factor this out. So the greatest common factor, we have x, which is just going to be just equal to x, x to the fourth, y to the fifth. So this is x five times, no, x four times, and y five times, two, three, four, five. Okay. What do you have? You have an x here. So the greatest common factor here is just an x. So you write x here parentheses what is left over well you have a one here so you have a one minus let's see what's left over here one two three so x cubed one two three four five y's so y fifth is left so it's one minus x cubed y to the fifth all right so x parentheses one minus x to the third power y to the fifth power all right, there you go. Submit your answer. Yep, we are correct. Let's do one more problem. Uh, this seems too easy. Let's do, yeah, this one seems like a good one. All right, we're going to factor this one out, which is x y to the fourth power minus x squared y. Let's find the greatest common factor. So we expand x y to the fourth power out. So that's x times y times y times y times y. Then we have x squared y can be broken down into x times x times y. Let's circle what they have in common. They have an x that is in common and a y that is also in common. So the greatest common factor here is x y. So x y. We put a parentheses and see what is left over here. So we have y times y times y, which is y cubed is left. So y cubed. And we also have an x here. So x is also left from the second term. Make, make sure you write the minus here. So it's minus x. All right. So xy parentheses y cubed minus x close the parentheses and that is our answer all right good job all right so there you go that is everything that you need to do when it comes to the greatest common factor variables only